going on? You guys hear me? All right. Um, I came to talk about this thing called Fresh Step that, uh, that I worked on about five years ago when I was working at Letterman. Um, basically, me and a couple other writers at the show, these guys, Carter, uh, Carter Bays and Craig Thomas, uh, we became like obsessed with this concept, basically, where we, we wanted to invent like fake entertainment things and then put them on the show and never tell people that they were fake. You know, like never announce it was a joke. We'd put them on during like the musical act, you know. Like we invented a fake musical first and just put it on and, and just never told anybody it was a joke. Um, and never tried to write it as a joke exactly, which it made it feel weirdly fruitless because then no one would laugh or like think, you know, like. Uh, and we worked really hard on these things. We'd get like, obsessed with them. Like, like I remember the only way, like the first musical, the only way we kind of knew it was successful was this musical called, uh, called One Small Step. And it was like about the lunar landing. <laughs> And we had astronauts like hanging from cords and stuff. And, uh, and we heard the next day that like a Jay Leno booker called irate like a New York theater booker. Like, why didn't we hear about one small step? You didn't even tell us about it, you know? That was like the only real feedback we ever got. So, so naturally we decided we wanted to take it even bigger. So we, we decided we wanted to invent a fake boy band, a whole band uh, called Fresh Step is what we named them. <laughs> Uh, which was a kitty litter. I was later told. <laughs> um, and we invented Fresh Tips. So basically, like, we wanted to be like a real boy band. So we did this huge casting search. Like hundreds of people, people that really wanted to be in a boy band came in and we like cast different roles in the boy band. This was in like 1999. Like, you know, so there's different like archetypes at the time. You know, there was always like a tough guy and there was a pretty boy and there was like a, a sweet guy and, you know, so we had like, you know, hip hop instructors from New Jersey and like, we had guys that had been in failed boy bands come in, you know, like this one guy had been in a boy band called Element and he came in, we cast him and uh, we got all these guys together. We hired a choreographer, this, uh, this woman named Fatima, who was the Backstreet Boys choreographer and we flew her in from LA and like, we didn't tell her it was fake and she just choreographed the whole thing. And, and then we ended up writing this song for them and the song was called, um, you gotta be fresh, and then in parentheses, to fresh with the fresh step. <laughs> that was the song. And, because apparently we, we quickly learned writing this, the, the band Fresh Step believed, almost like it was like Smurfs and Smurfy, they believed the word fresh could be used for any kind of word. And literally in this two and a half minute song, they used the word fresh almost 50 times. <laughs> So just to give you a sense of what I'm talking about, you know, we, we put the first one together kind of fast. I want to show you a clip of uh, their first performance, Fresh Step. You got to be fresh to fresh with the Fresh Step. Popular uh, new group from Central Florida. Tonight, they're making their network television debut. Here now, performing the hit song from their new CD. Please welcome Fresh Step. <laughs> That right there, by the way, is DJ. He, he's kind of like the heartthrob. Let's actually, let's go back to this one guy we just saw. Yeah, this guy. Um, this was a problem. I really wanted it to be super realistic, right? And right before we went on stage, our wig came in. This is right before, and that was the wig they brought me. And it was like, just put it on him and just send him out there. So I feel like that might've broken the reality a little bit. Um, Notice the cross too, there's this weird undercurrent of Fresh Step that developed more later where they're kind of weirdly religious and they want to like sex you up, you know? <laughs> okay, so we do this and basically a couple weeks later we get this call from Total Request Live, okay? TRL. And, and they say they've seen Fresh Step, they've heard about it, they think it's awesome. Do we want Fresh Step to come on TRL and get interviewed and they won't say that it's a joke? is what they tell us, which is like huge. At the time, TRL is like ground zero for boy bands. It's like, it's making NSYNC and Backstreet Boys and we're like, yeah, let's, we're gonna do that, sure. So, so now we're sort of faced with this weird problem because we cast these guys and it's like, 
they're not media trained. We don't really know, like, like we don't really know how we're going to make them seem like a real band, right? Getting interviewed, and um, and we started to prep them for this interview with Carson Daly, and it just beca it becomes clear that we kind of don't have a problem because these guys really think they're in a boy band, you know? Like they actually think they're in a boy band. They're like, you know, we should really think about recording an album, you know? Like, and it's like, well, you guys aren't real, you know that, right? Um, so. So that's it. So let me just show you, um, I'll show you a, a couple clips from Total Request Live. Uh, here's the first one, Carson Daly, Total Request Live. All right, uh, there's Tupac with changes number eight today on Total Request Live. I'm Carson Daly. I am joined now by uh, one of the newest guy groups to hit the scene. Ladies and gentlemen, have a round of applause for Fresh Step. Yeah. Nice enough. Thanks, Thank you guys for coming in. Thanks, Tom. Better win. Better win. Yeah, nice to meet you guys. Thanks, guys. What's happening? You know, we don't know a whole lot about you. It must have happened really fast for Fresh Step. Tell us a little about, you know, your story here. Well, see, Carson, you got to understand that Fresh Step's all about diversification, you yeah, know? Right. Yeah. So we try to get something real cool together for everybody out there. So, you know, we got Brad. He's my man from Minnesota. We got yeah. my cousin hey, DJ here What's from up? Tallahassee. You know, three of us are from Orlando. You know, we used to work at Universal Studios and stuff. We just kind of got together, you know, figured, hey, man, this is easy. We could do this. That's right. Cool. Cool. Diversification. Yeah. Um, another thing is that these guys, like, we would record these songs with session musicians and these guys would lip sync, but they, they could really sing, so ended up, sort of at this point, they started getting kind of, like, pissed off, because they're like, we can really sing, man, you gotta let us open it up and sing, you know? So, so on, on TRL, we wrote them, like, this little a cappella song that they could sing from a song that didn't exist yet, um, taken from the soundtrack to a movie that didn't exist, which, uh, <laughs> Which we said on Total Request Live uh, starred Sarah Michelle Gellar and James Vanderbeek, and, was, and, and it's about backstory. It's about a, um, a a girl, a high school football player who falls in love with a uh, girl that happens to be deaf, and <laughs> and the name of the movie is Talk to the Hand. That's <laughs> that's the movie. So let me just uh, show you a little of this. Yeah. Tell us about like you know your next project. What's well, coming up for you? It's whack. We, we're doing this. Uh, we got the great honor. We're going to be singing a, uh, a, a single on the new movie soundtrack called uh, "Talk to the Hand." It stars James Vanderbeek and Sarah Michelle Gellar. Oh, cool. Yo, she's, she's fine, fine, man. She's fine. She's a favorite here. Yeah. <laughs> we actually got a little piece of that. We thought maybe you'd like to hear. Oh, great! You're going to do a little singing for us. Yeah, cool. cool. All right, fresh step, everybody. One, two. Don't talk to the hair, girl. Talk to the heart. We're only fresh together. We can't fresh apart. Girl, you're freaky fresher than a fresh robot. Don't talk to the hand, baby. Just talk to my Fresh Step. Thank you guys. Thanks, guys. Hey, it was nice to meet you. Uh, nice Check out our website, www.fresh-step.com. Absolutely. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Sweet. So, so he says the name of our website. We had built this website for them at this point, you know, which gave you information about them, like, you know, Jamie used to be on Michelle Kids Incorporated, we said. Um, you know, we said that DJ is going to use, you know, money from the first album to buy his kid brother a trampoline, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, we got this website, we say it on Total Request Live, like five or six million teenage girls, you know, watch this show, and basically by the next day we were getting tens of thousands of emails by people that, like, that thought the band was real and had all kinds of reactions to them. So I just wanted to read a couple emails that we got to give you a sense. Like tens of thousands of these, I mean it was crazy. Like it literally shut down hot, like our, our Hotmail account. Um, so here's one. Hey, yo, what's up? I just saw y'all on TRL, five exclamation points. And, and went to you homepage, you guys sound really cool and really hot, two Ts. Um, you know, well, G to G, right back if not too much trouble. Oh yeah, boy bands always, rule always. You know, uh, hey guys, what's up? My name's Jamie, I'm from Louisiana. I saw y'all on MTV today and y'all are hot. DJ, I think you're so fine. Oh, and another thing, please don't think I'm one of those little girls that scream every time they hear NSYNC or Backstreet Boys name, because I'm not. I'm almost 17. <laughs> well, G, G to G. Bye. Um, hi, I just wanted to uh, say that I think you guys are great. I saw you guys in Total Request. You guys are totally with it. I actually recognized Jamie from Kids Incorporated. I was like, <laughs> that's Jamie from Kids Incorporated. Uh, here we go. Here's a good example. We got a lot of these too. Uh, subject, hi. 
I just saw you on David Letterman and I wanted to ask how many of you are gay. You are, you are worse than the Backstreet Boys. What's up with the barrettes in your hair? Everyone in my dorm at school was making fun of you. You should either stop acting like fags or stop singing all together. If I were as gay as you, I would call up Nick from the Backstreet Boys and Justin from NSYNC and have a huge fuck fest. <laughs> And just, here's just like one page from Hotmail. I think one, you know, it's like, hey cuties, I love you, is this a joke? Uh, I'm your number one fan, uh, curious, you guys rock, you guys suck a nut. <laughs> and this is like, there's this like, you know, like I said, literally tens of thousands of emails. Okay, so. So it's like, and, and we're getting offers for like record deals, people wanting to go to Southeast Asia. And we're getting really obsessed with it. Like I'm genuinely feeling like I want to quit my job and start managing these guys because this is awesome. I'm not kidding, you know? Um, so we decided we want to write one more song and we really pour, you know, we, we want to flesh out that song they sang acapella and make it this whole song. And, and we do that and we get really into it and it, you know, in the end it turns out to be their final performance, you know? Sadly, we just, you know, like, we just the, the infighting and all the ambition and stuff broke the band up. Um, but I'm gonna show you their last performance because I literally think this is both, it's both the end and the peak of Fresh Step because like, it's all clicking, I think. I think like the lyrics, the dancing, choreography, lip syncing, DJ, Brad, both Corys, um, everything. <laughs> everything is clicking and it's very sweet for me to watch and, um, and I guess look for the subtle God stuff and just enjoy it, please. On the soundtrack for this uh, upcoming uh, movie right here, Talk to the End. Here they are. Please welcome back Fresh Step, kids. I said, girl, I know you can't hear the words I'm saying, but together we can make this love work. Straight up, just listen. Yeah, yeah. Girl, read my lips. The lips of my soul I was in a billion pieces But you freshed me home fresh. You're right by my side When fresh comes to shove You got it going on Like my main man above Up in heaven I'm in heaven I'm in heaven Talk to the hands Talk to the And that's Fresh Step. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>